everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Frances and I do videos on fashion, lifestyle, and home decor. So today I'm filming in the family room once again and I want to show you my beautiful bouquet of flowers that my husband got me for our four-year elopement anniversary which is the fruits and flower anniversary and I'm gonna go ahead and put that video of our elopement, why we got eloped, and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we did go to RH in Marin, which is a county or city in the Bay Area in California, and we got went ahead and enjoyed a nice dinner on the rooftop. There are some RHs, Restoration Hardware locations, that do have restaurants or even wine vaults, which is the wine vault is located in Yonville and um, outside of Napa County, and I did share that on our previous video of our visit to the French Laundry, so go ahead and check that out. I will link it down below. Anyway, today I will be sharing with you a home decor haul from Amazon Home and Home Goods. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I hope you enjoy this next video. If you're new, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications if you wanna see more videos like this or other videos that I post in the future. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I'm so excited to share all the things that I got from Amazon Home. Um, it's a variety of things that we need for our house. So yes, let's start with the home decor. Again, I'll be linking everything that's still available down below. And if it's not available or sold out, I'll go ahead and try to find similar items and go ahead and look down below for the links for anything that you like. And I will be showing them in appearance of the video. So first is this torso or this sculpture of a female form. I really love this one because it's a neutral, kind of like an aged look, but we put this on our entry table. For me, it's not really offensive, but I feel like it's a beautiful way to display the female form. This one was under 30 bucks and it's just a wonderful piece. You can put it on your vanity, on your entry table like we have, or even in your bathroom. For all you candle lovers, I did post a reel on my Instagram, which I will link here on the screen. So if you don't follow me already, let's be friends on Instagram and go ahead and click that link below. Um, I did share the three candle tools that every candle lover or user should have in their home. Um, so let's go ahead and begin with that. This item is a candle snuffer. So if you don't know what a candle snuffer is, it extinguishes your lit candles safely. Um, for example, you know, usually when we put a candle out, we blow them. And sometimes you probably don't notice this, but the candle wax can, you know, splatter some places and um, this just safely deprives the candle of oxygen and puts it out and covers the, fire, the flame. I do have this in black as well, so I put it on opposite sides of the house just so that we don't have to go in every room and, you know, searching for where's the candle snuffer. I just think it's a really cute item to have as well. The aesthetic too, uh, you could find one that can match your home aesthetic as well. And then next is this uh, candle wick cutter or trimmer, whatever you want to call it. This is such a necessity for candle users. So it is angled here to fit into long candle, can glass candles. And then you can cut the wick and it's flat bottomed here. So when you close it after cutting, it catches the wick and then you can properly dispose of it. And then one of my favorite items from Amazon is this butane free USB charged lighter. This also comes in gold or other rose gold, whatever colors, but you can easily just charge this to get it um, to work. You don't have to buy so many of those ugly uh, what barbecue lighters that come in like orange, red, green, blue uh, from like Costco, but we do have those too. It is for the grill, but I love this for the candle because it's long. They do have some that you can ex that has a a flexible extender and you can go deep into the candle which is you know would be similar to the candle wick trim so this one um, you just extend it and it shows how much battery power you have and then when you extend it it ignites a charge to burn the wick I don't know if you can see it that closely but I love it it's 
such a great tool to have. These three items would be a perfect gift for uh, like anyone, like a housewarming gift. You know, it's very inexpensive. They're all for less than 20 bucks. Some items on Amazon, they come in a, a two pack and it's really perfect to give us uh, a gift. So since we're going through the Amazon home items, I wanted to go ahead and jump into the Amazon beauty items that I got. So this facial steamer, this one is very inexpensive. You plug it in as um, when you use it, but it's so easy to use. You just go ahead and you fill this compartment with water and then you slide it right into the back, hit the power button and you hear it um, warming up and then the steam starts to come out. The, the water pack in the back, it lasts to about 12 to 15 minutes depending on how full you fill it. Steamers are used to hydrate the skin to release trapped sebum in your pores, unclog your pores. It's very soothing. It, it will promote collagen and elastin. And when used properly, it helps your skin absorb, you know, your skincare products that you use. So I just think this is a really great item to have. Um, and you have like a mini spa at home when you use this. So Reggie does use this as well. It does um, make us feel very refreshed and our skin very tight after we use it. And yeah. Very inexpensive. I think it's under 50 bucks. There would be a lot of other brands or, you know, well-known brands that will pretty much use the same steamer, but just put their logo here. But this one is a really great item to purchase. So also from Amazon Beauty, I purchased this Microderm Glow device. This is actually, let me show you. This is a microdermabrasion handheld device. So if you don't know what microdermabrasion is, it helps to exfoliate the skin and help with discoloration, tighten the skin. It treats sun damage and treats light scarring for the skin. So we actually use this after we steam our face to exfoliate after our pores have been unclogged by the steamer. Um, I used to use the get this done by my friend. This device was actually recommended by my friend who is a nurse in dermatology. We used to work together in um, a plastic surgery office where we did a lot of skincare procedures. She was a friend who used to do microneedling on my face as well for our wedding and it helped treat my acne and my scarring really well. So I do recommend having this on hand. I do use this on Reggie as well weekly and myself weekly too. I have been struggling with a lot of acne so this actually has been helping. But you know, sometimes skin treatments do not always solve all your acne problems. Like for me, I have hormonal imbalances. So that's something that's internally with myself that I have to figure out. But Anyway, so this device actually comes with two attachments. This is actually the smaller head. This one, so the, the heads are actually diamond, and so they're really great for exfoliation. This smaller one is actually used for um, the nose area and the hard angles, but the, there's a one that has a wider diameter, which is used for all over the face. And then it comes with filters that you insert here, which suctions up all your dead skin cells. And we love looking at this after we such um, after we microderm both of our face, me and Reggie's faces, and then this is the brush, and this is the brush that um, cleans this attachment here. So yeah, I would definitely recommend microdermabrasion. Um, if you don't feel safe um, doing this at home, you you can always go to an esthetician or a plastic surgery office to get skincare done. But yeah. This is at your own risk so that's what i perform this at our own risk as well so if you made it this far thank you so much i know this is kind of a lengthy video however um now i'm gonna jump into everything that i found at home goods recently so first is this chanel book this one is actually a paperback cover um reggie was the one that spotted this this was a good day that we found books because we actually got two more great ones this one is um 20 bucks and i'll actually link this i won't link it but i'll put the style number down below so if you want this book you can go ahead and call your local home goods and see if they have that style number in stock because that's what because you know we cannot link things from home goods unfortunately but we hope I hope to help you in finding these books when you go to your local home goods. And the next coffee table book is another Chanel coffee table book. This one is so pretty. This is the Carl Lagerfeld campaigns book. 
very pretty. The spine of the book is black and white, so it's very neutral. You can, I can stack them together and it could be very neutral, perfect touch to the home. Um, this is similar to the Tom Ford book. You can take out the actual book and still have this hard cover. And on this side, you know, still have, so it could also look like you have another book like this. This one was $34.99 and I'll go ahead and put the style number down below as well. And this last book that I found is the Dior book. Very cute. Such an awesome find. So excited that we found this. This was actually, I believe, only 70 bucks on Amazon. It's actually priced at 100 to 110 depending on the seller. But even on the Dior website, it's priced at 100 bucks, and it's still on the Dior website. So I'll go ahead and link this beautiful book down below from Dior and on Amazon, but also put down the style number from Home Goods because I did post this on my Instagram and everyone's blowing up my DMs asking, what is the style number? And there was actually two people who were able to call their local home goods and they had it in stock. So that helps out a lot. And then other items that we got from home goods is just this black tissue Kleenex holder. Um, I was tired of all the ugly boxes that they have. They didn't have any like neutral Kleenex box colors. So I will put this in our bathroom and then few more bathroom accessories. I got this tray to match the tissue holder in our guest bathroom. And these were so inexpensive. They're all under 10 bucks. And then I actually use this tray to display these items right here. So these are actually cotton ball and swab holders. I love the bamboo look on the top. It's very neutral for our bathroom. And then this holds like cotton pads, you know, for all you women who use it to take off your makeup. It's just so pretty. I love the aesthetic of the clear and the bamboo with the black. So for home goods, kitchen items, I'm gonna just share this practical item that we, we use all the time. So this pizza wheel cutter. What I love about HomeGoods, you can pretty much find anything that you need for your home. This one was only $3.99. We do get a lot of frozen pizzas from Trader Joe's when we're working from home. It's just the easiest thing to consume and cook when we're working from home. So we needed this and we got it and it, we haven't used it yet obviously, but I hope, we hope that it will bring us joy when we do use it. And then, so as you know, Reggie has a Breville espresso machine and he uses it every day. And we have been a fan of double pane glasses. So we've been, like I mentioned in my previous haul, we, we have an obsession with glasses for the house. So we purchased a lot of double pane glasses. This one is actually wall, double wall espresso glass mugs. This one's so cute. It is only 2.7 ounces or holds 80 milliliters. This is, let's, let's go ahead and open it. They're so cute. They're two point, like I mentioned, they are 2.7 ounces. So it's pretty much like an espresso shot. I love them. They're so tiny. I could fit it in my hand. Um, yeah, so I actually recently learned how to make an espresso martini. So this is actually perfect to make the espresso shot and just pour it right in to the martini glass. Next double pane mugs that we got are from Barista Collection. This one is actually two cappuccino cups. It is a 7.9 ounce and holds about 225 milliliters. This is how it looks. It's a little bigger, obviously, because it's so it's a little bigger than the espresso shot one that I just showed, about five ounces bigger, but this is really cute too. And then another set of double pane glasses are these latte sized ones. Oops. Are these latte sized ones. These fit 11.8 ounces, which is equivalent to 350 milliliters. These are how these ones look. So they don't have a handle. They're this tall, so this is my hand. Um, this is just for size reference, but I love these so much. What I love about the double pane glasses too is that 
when you do put a hot drink in it, you can't really feel that it's hot because it's double pane. So that's what's great, even if it doesn't ha have a handle. But we love double pane glasses. Everyone that comes over is always asking like, wow, where did you get your glasses? I really want them. They do look really high end, which I really love, but these are so inexpensive. Like this set was 15 bucks. And then the other ones um, were 15 and 10 bucks for a set of two. So it depends on you know the brand obviously, but yeah. Anyway, so I want to thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Take care. Bye.